Hi guys, it's Achia. Today I want to show you some of the prints that I'm getting off the belt printer and the print quality. The first print I want to show you is this bust of Nevertiti. You will notice that there are quite a few blobs on the print, so that means I have to increase my retraction a bit. The next issue that I've got is on the right hand side of Nefertiti's head, you'll see that the print quality is quite bad. So that's actually on the left of the printer and it looks like it's not sufficiently cooled. When we get to the back of the head, then the print quality seems fine again. This definitely looks like a part cooling issue to me. Next up is the tree frog from Prusa. And you'll notice the same zit issues. That means I have to increase my retraction a bit. There's also a bit of stringing which indicates that the extruded temperature might be a little bit high. On the frog's left hand side you'll notice the same print quality issues that we had with the Nefertiti bust. If we look a little bit closer on the right hand side, the print quality seems quite good. Also the back looks very nice. I've been trying to print gears for an electric skateboard. So this is a nylon pinion that I was printing. You can see the raft there and nylon is, loves to warp. So there's quite a bit of warping going on there, but it surprisingly, it came out surprisingly well. If we look at the big gear, you can see Again, it was printed in nylon. There's quite a bit of warping and there's a crack on the top. The teeth look okay. I don't have an enclosure on this printer yet. So at the moment, these prints aren't good enough to use as actual gears. There's too much warping as you can see. But it's still pretty fun to try nylon. I did use a raft on this print as well. This print is a sheath that goes over the Zelda sword that we printed earlier. It's got a slot in it, so we, we want to put LED strip lights in there so that when you push this sleeve or sheath over the sword, then the lights would go on. Let's have a look at a close-up of the parts. The gap that you see there is where the LED lights will shine through. I managed to break the sword in, or the sheath in just two pieces when I took it off the bed. But you can see the print quality is not bad. If we look at the second, the bottom half, you can see there's a dip. There's a bit of a warping right there in the middle. That's, but I'm not sure what happened there but the, the rest of the print looks fine. As you can see, we're getting there with the print quality. Not quite there yet, but we're making improvements. Thanks again for your support. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you have a great day.